Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you're new here and today we're going to be unboxing my favorite math curriculum for our family. If you're new here, I am a homeschool mom to six kids and we have been homeschooling. This will be our 10th homeschool year coming up here soon. And I am sharing our all-time favorite math. So over the years, we have used quite a few things. And for elementary math specifically, this is our favorite. So this is the math that we have chosen as the best fit for literally every kid in our family. And it just works very well. It fosters independence in learning and things like that. And so I'm going to unbox it here and show you what I have inside for this upcoming school year. Now you notice I said for elementary, I have not used the higher math levels with my kiddos. Um, my oldest is in middle school and he is actually transitioning into using Matthew C. And so that, and that is because it is a higher math and I prefer something with a video. Teaching textbooks did not work well for us in that aspect and so he is going to be moving into Matthew C for the higher level math. That's just a personal preference for me. I am not a huge math minded person uh, but this math curriculum it is rather advanced compared to most math but it doesn't feel advanced. It, it's never been overwhelming to any of my kids. And I have kids who are strong in math and I have kids that are, you know, it's not their best subject and that's okay. And so this has worked well for every single one of them and every style of learning that each of them has. And so I'm gonna show you the uh, look inside of some of the different levels of math. So maybe you can get a better understanding. Now. I still have not mentioned what math it is. It is Christian light math. And as I said, it's just, it's our favorite. Okay, so let's just dive straight in here. And the first thing that I ordered is flashcards. Now, at the beginning of each lesson, it will direct you on which flashcards to have your child review. Now, personally, up until, I mean, I am just now buying these. I have never used the flashcards with my kids because, because most of my kids have not needed the uh, flashcards to help them to memorize facts or anything like that. It just, because of the nature of this program, they've actually caught on quite well and they have had, they haven't had a need for it. However, one of my kiddos is in need of this and another one I sense that she's kind of going to be the same way and so I actually ordered the multiplication and division flashcards and I mean it's exactly what it sounds like. They are just multiplication and division flashcards <laughs> and so I got those and then the other ones this is for one of my younger kiddos that I said I sense that she's going to need these as well. And this is the addition and subtraction flashcards. And what's neat about these is the cards are much larger. Um, but then there's also these little dividers here where you can actually use them to... To separate them by day which is really cool and then the ones for grade two and also separate them by day as well so I really like that a lot so I can just keep them separated by day on what needs to be gone through so I'm not like you know pulling those out during the lesson so I really like the organizational aspect of that and so the first math light units that I ordered are for my daughter who is, she's in like this transitional kindergarten first grade. So last year we did kindergarten math with confidence with her and it worked very well. But this is my tried and true. And so the plan all along 
was to go do that for kindergarten because there is no kindergarten level of this and then move her into level one. Now, in these level one books, you will notice in the first light unit that it seems to start out fairly easy, fairly slow, but it does ramp up quite a bit as the program goes on. Again, it is a more advanced math overall. However, the way that this program is laid out, the method that they teach is spiral. However, there's a mastery feel to it, and I think that's why this has worked so well for all of my kids, is I feel like it's a combination of the two methods of math, like a good meshing of spiral and a more mastery approach. So I think that's why this works so well. I do love the fact that it is separated into lot units, so unit one, unit two, so on and so forth, and each one has two quizzes and a test. If you wanted to, you could throw the quizzes out and you don't have to use them. You could just do the test at the end or something like that. My kids actually really love doing them because they're not weighted. <laughs> uh, and so, anyway, so that is the grade one math. And I'll save this for the end. That's not math. <laughs> the next one that I ordered is the grade three math. As you get into levels two and above, the first lot unit is going to be all review. It starts with a pretest, and if they pass the pretest, they move on to the next one. If not, then they have extra practice there. And this is just a great built in way to review and make sure that they are remembering all those big concepts that they learned in the previous level. So after showing you the first lot unit, now I am just flipping to the very last lot unit just so you can see kind of where you end up here. As you can see, they've learned quite a bit more math concepts and it is going much deeper in what they are learning. Now there are teacher's manuals, of course, that go with these math levels. However, I didn't need to order any of them because I just use the ones that my kids <laughs> that my kids previously have used. And so if you have any questions on how to teach something specific in this, first of all, yes, get the teacher's manual. Okay, don't try to do this without it because there are some times where they teach certain concepts and it's helpful to have that. It also prompts you on what flashcards to do, um, what mental math things to go over with them. You know, it, it just prompts you to do different things throughout the lesson. And honestly, even with my first grade level kiddos in this program, in the beginning I spend a little bit more time teaching them, but it's literally no more than 10 minutes of my time actually teaching them when they're young. And once they get the hang of it, usually about halfway through that first grade level of math, they are pretty much independent. Now, by the time my kids get to level two of this math, they pretty much do it on their own. I still like to go over the new concept, but that just takes me a few minutes to do. And then they work independently on their own. And I kind of like glance over at what they're doing to make sure that they're, they're understanding the concepts. Um, and so, and I'm always right there for them to ask questions, of course, too. And so that's why I really, really like this. It is a natural, the way that this math is, is done, the increments at which they teach things, it allows them to, again, the spiral part, build upon, oh yeah, we did this in a previous unit. Now we're adding this to it. And it's, it creates that natural learning process in their brains, I think, 
and that's why it makes it so successful. So I really, really like this one. Um, and then the last level that I got that's in this order, because I already have um, my son that's in sixth grade, I already have his um, that I had ordered previously because he started on it already. But this will be my fourth graders math, obviously the level four. Um, now, I will say this. So one of my kiddos has been a level well, he started out almost two complete levels behind, and this caught him up so quickly, caught him up so quickly with what he needed to be in for like pre-algebra, like moving on, um, and uh, because of, again, the nature of this program and um, how well it teaches things. So anyway, so I got the level four for my fourth grader, and I will take a second just to flip through a couple of these light units for you as well. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at the very first light unit. And again, it is set up the same way as what I talked about in level three, where the whole first unit is going to be review, built in as pretests and extra practice if they don't pass it. And now let's take a look at the last unit of level four. You are going to see a big jump in what they have learned throughout this year. They're doing simplifying expressions and all that kind of stuff. This is obviously way more detailed math at this point as they are moving into those higher levels. And the last thing in this order is something that I actually have a couple of videos, I think, on the Christian Light Learning to Read series. It's an excellent reading program. Very thorough. Very good. It worked extremely well for us. I've used it with a couple of my kiddos. And I'm not sure yet, though, if I'm going to use it for my daughter who's in that transitional kindergarten to first grade. So for now, I ordered just the first four light units just to see if this is the route that we're going to go. She is not ready to start it yet. Uh, my guess is probably in a couple of months. But I just haven't decided with her. She, to me, is starting to show some of the similar signs that my son with dyslexia began exhibiting. And so I'm just really trying to take it slow to solidify like those basic foundational phonemic awareness skills and things like that before we dive into a full on reading program. And so I'm not sure if we're gonna use this or not or if we need to go more of a dyslexia friendly route like an Orton Gillingham method like we've used pride reading in the past and um, we've also used all about reading and so I don't have level one of all about reading because we didn't start using it till two three and four um, and so I don't know we this is this is a question mark for us but it is a wonderful program and it is one that I highly recommend because it is so thorough. It gives such a great, great foundation to reading. And so I can't recommend it enough. So I did go ahead and get those first four units though in hopes that it's going to work because it, it it's one that works very well. Okay, so that is what is in this box of math curriculum if you want to see any other videos i've done a few other videos specifically on christian light math 
I will stick those in the description below. One is a do a lesson with us. Another one is why it's my favorite math and more of an explanation and look inside. And so I will link those down in the description as well as the one on learning to read if that is one that you're interested in as well. So thank you so much guys and have a very blessed day. Thank you.